Hey, and welcome to Mob Mentality. I am Sasha Rogers, and I am a licensed professional counselor and your expert coach. So today I just wanted to take a second to talk about the power of no. I believe as women, we are above and beyond people pleasers. We want to please others, and even at the expense of our own wants and our needs and our own mental health and physical health. It just seems completely ridiculous that we are willing to put everyone else and everything else above and beyond our own needs and our own wants. And I was having a conversation with David just yesterday, and he was like, why do you think that women have such a hard time communicating more clearly and being able to offer more criticism and critique than men do. And I was like, I just think it is by the way that we were raised. I know, for example, I was raised in a household um, from a Hispanic culture that was always about putting everyone else's needs and wants, and especially your elders above your own. You didn't say no to them. You listen, you obeyed. And also it was about making other people happy. And this definitely followed me into adulthood, into my professional career, into my relationships, as I always wanted to be able to make other people happy. And then I realized I'm making other people happy, but I'm not happy. And ultimately the people that are in this inner circle, that are in our immediate environment, our friends, our family, our coworkers, those people that we allow to be close to us are supposed to love and support us and care about what we want. And so being able to say no or to give yourself that time and the space to think about what you really want, to say, hey, let me get back to you on that before you have to actually commit to going to that kid's birthday party, to showing up to that next social event and being able to say, hey, let me get back to you. I need to look at my schedule and being able to give yourself that time and that space to think about what do you really want? Because a lot of times we are over committing ourselves. We're constantly saying yes, yes, yes. And then at the end of the day, we are completely exhausted and they're like, why in the world did I say that I would do that? I know I've been there and I've asked myself that question numerous times. Why did I say I would do that? Like, that's not even something that I want to do. And it is out of this just need to put other people's needs and wants first and to make other people happy even though it causes me this gross feeling of like anxiety and completely overwhelmed or just, I would rather sit at my house by myself and do nothing. And that's okay. You have permission. I am giving you permission to actually stay at home and do nothing, (laughs) clean your house if you want, instead of going to that next social event or meeting your friends out for happy hour or attending their toddler's birthday party. If you don't want to, You don't have to. And there's so much power in being able to say no because it eases the anxiety in your own life and leaves you feeling less stressed out and less burnt out because ultimately we are not the best version of ourselves for anyone else if we are constantly in the state of just being stressed and burnt out. So your thing may be, okay, I'm going to hurt people's feelings when I begin saying no, or they're not going to know this side of me. You need to be able to add that second sentence in there, maybe in the beginning, not necessarily for them, but even for yourself so they can understand where you're coming from and you don't feel like the mean guy or get labeled the biatch when it comes to saying no. So being able to add that second sentence in, it's like, I'm not going to be able to make it. I really need to clean my house because I feel completely out of sorts when I start the week and my house is a mess. If they are your close friends and your family, they should love, support you, and understand your need to take care of yourself first and ultimately want you to feel more organized, put together, and just overall healthier and happier. So being able to add that second sentence in there just to tell them why or how this impacts you and why it's so important 
for you will just be able to give you that time and that space to take a deep breath and say like, okay, it's all right that I said no. They may not completely understand. That's okay. And something that I want to go ahead and warn you about is they're going to try to talk you out of it. People are really, really great at wanting their own needs and their wants to be met first, even above yours. And people can still love and care about you, but they want your time and they want your attention. And so when they come at you and try to talk you out of it, you need to hold that boundary. You need to stay strong because if you are constantly going back on your word or you say no, and then you double back and you say yes, or say, oh, and I'll think about it. You're just opening up that window. You're opening up that space for them to convince you and pull you back in. And we're right back where we started. So start small. Keep things really simple. Look for the opportunity to be able to say no that you're going to be able to stick strong to. That's the key. When you begin to set boundaries and to practice this skill set, you want to be able to back it up with action. You want to be able to back it up with staying strong to what you just said and not doubling back. We're not trying to recreate boundaries in order for them to be crushed down. Because what we're doing is just reconditioning people and for them to know it's like, okay, well, she's going to say no, but then she's going to go back and say yes. It's not what we're going for here, people. We want them to begin to respect what we have to say and know that this is who we are. When we say no, we mean no. When we say yes, we mean yes. And we're going to show up. And so you have to show up for yourself. Put your own needs, your own wants, your own priorities first, because that will ultimately make you a better version of yourself for others. Practice, practice, practice. Practice saying no. There's power in no, and this will drastically change your life in so many different aspects. Thank you. Thank you for listening today. If you need any help, please feel free to reach out. I can tell you and help you along that process of areas of your life to begin to say no to, how you can actually communicate and say no in a way that is respectful and polite, but get your point across, and you have everything that you need inside of you. Go out, use your strengths, use your abilities, find your inner power, and say no today.